Hi, this is Janae from Designs by Juju. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use our Marin monogram in Brilliant software. I currently have my 4x4 hoop selected. I will click the A button to create a lettering object. Um, please note the default text in the box is always ABC. From the font selection box, I'm going to scroll down to our Marin font, and I'm going to choose the four inch size. And so when I click that, it automatically brings in the left A, the middle B, and the right C. However, as you look at this, you'll see we have some work to do to get this positioned right. If you click the little green square inside each um, letter, you'll see that the first object is the A, which goes on the left side of the monogram. The second object is the B that goes in the middle of the monogram, and it is connected to the frame. And then the third item is the C that goes on the right-hand side. So if I wanted to create my monogram, I would type JTC, click enter, and then I will need to position the J and the C inside the frame. So I will just click the green square to select the J and drop that into place. Click the green square inside the C, drop that into place. Then when I click the entire monogram, I can then select this button that centers the whole design in the hoop. And then I look at it and decide, do I like the letter placement? There's no exact rule on where the letters go. And if I want to shift them around, maybe I want to move the J up and out just a little bit and then position the C so that um, it is about as close to that leaf here as the J is here. Uh, the bottom of the C kind of aligns with the bottom of the T. The space between the J and the T kind of matches the space between the T and the C. Again, you just kind of do it visually. You can zoom out, zoom in, um, just determine exactly what you like. And once you're done, then you can save this as a new design file. Before doing that, I want to talk through the colors of this. Again, the very first object is going to be the J. And then the second, so let's select that again. If I select just the J, we'll see in the color tab that we have the purple option. If we select just the T, we'll see that the first color stop is purple. That means the T is stitched first and then the frame. So then the green leaves, pink petals, uh, bright orange in the center of the flowers, and then the little yellow ring around the center of the flowers. And then if we click just the C, we'll have the opportunity to change the color of that. So let's say my favorite color is blue and I want my monogram to be blue. I could change the color of each of these letters one by one by clicking the color tab and changing this to my thread options and find the blue that I want and click OK. And then I could continue to do that one by one. Click this. Now I'll select palette so it narrows it back down to just the colors that are on my screen so that I can be sure I'm selecting the same blue thread and select the C and do the same thing. That's one way you can do this. All well, let's say I get done, I was like, oh, nope, I actually want that to be a darker blue. A different option would be to right click the blue, select change color on page. And now if I select maybe this dark blue, note that it changed um, all three of those letters to the same color. Let's see, maybe I'll actually go with this one instead. So that's one way you can quickly recolor all three letters of the monogram. And now at this point, I would go up to File, Save as Stitch and Working File, and then navigate to your folder where you want to save the design. So then I might save this as JTC Marin Monogram four inch. I have a brother embroidered machine, so I would select PES, but you would pick whatever your preferred machine format is and click save. Now, since I have Embrilliance Essentials, I can choose to watch it in Stitch Simulator. So let me show you so you can anticipate how this is going to stitch at your machine. If I hit play and I'm going to speed this up, it'll stitch the J and then the T and then it will do the frame After those flowers are finished, it will do the C, the third letter in my monogram. If you have essentials, then you can instead, let's exit out of this, 
go up to your utilities menu and do a color sort. You'll see that it's been reduced by one color. And if I click new view, it'll open up a new tab where it has saved it. And now it's a design file instead of a lettering object. So I can expand this and I'll see that the first step, what it has done is color sorted and brought that C up to the first step. So it'll stitch all three letters first and then stitch the frame. So again, that is a feature of Essentials. If you are using Embrilliance and Express mode for free, you don't have this option. You will have an extra thread change at your machine. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.